guys, so today we are doing the other half of biscuits and gravy. Um, I just popped my biscuits into the oven, so now we are getting to the gravy part. We're starting off with a pound of sausage, and I like to go ahead and dish it out with a spoon so that I can start getting it reduced into smaller chunks as soon as it hits the pan. Okay, so as our sausage starts browning, you want to use the end of your spatula, and I like this straight edge version, um, and just start breaking it up into smaller chunks. Okay, I just pulled my biscuits. And there's no pink left in our sausage, so I'm going to dump this all into a strainer over a bowl. And I'm doing this because it shouldn't go into the sink drain, but it's also too hot to just put the grease in the trash or else it would melt the bag. So I'm just going to scrape everything down and get all these little bits out. That's good enough. Now, I'm going to turn this down to about two and a half. I don't want my roux to burn. So, I've got two tablespoons of butter here. And the remainder of my flour and starch mixture that I use to roll out my biscuits. And I'm just going to keep this moving until my butter melts. And my flour starts looking like paste. Next up, about two ounces or a quarter package of cream cheese. And we just want to use the tines of the whisk to break this up and get it started melting. Okay, so now we're on to adding some liquids. We're gonna start off with cream, and the extra fat in that will help to get everything smoothed out. Now we're just using milk to give us, you know, actual workable gravy instead of a super thick paste. And of course now this is very liquidy, so stir slowly to incorporate the roux with the liquid. And as this comes together, you want to taste for seasoning. For my sausage gravy, I like black pepper. Some people prefer white because it doesn't show up in the white gravy. And I think it needs a little extra salt. Okay, it's just starting to get thick enough where you can see a trail left by the whisk and it sticks to the side when you swirl it, see? Woo! So, we're going to add our sausage back. And we just want to stir to coat and get the sausage back up to temperature. So it may have cooled off a little bit. So to serve, grab a biscuit, take a fork right along the edge. And then the gravy you actually want to serve a little bit thinner than what you really want because as it cools, and it cools very quickly, it will continue to thicken. So, so really, the secret to making this gravy is just um, 
you know, keep an eye on it. Make sure it looks right. If it doesn't, tweak it until it does. And most importantly of all, keep stirring. Um, a lot of times just uh, manually forcing the ingredients together the way you want by continued stirring is one of the best ways to actually get it to come together the way you want. Anyway, I'm going to eat like five more of these biscuits, smothered and covered. I'll see you guys next time on the Deglutenizer. My book is now available. Um, of course, I wanted to offer a book rather than just having a donate button uh, so that you guys would, of course, get something in return for helping to support my blog. Um, it's got some great recipes. Um, some were just really simple, only a few steps, take a couple minutes. So obviously I couldn't dedicate an entire blog post to those types of recipes. So um, those are in there. I've got some where it's a variation on an existing blog recipe. So I've got some of those. And um, of course there's a lot of great photos. I've got my typical written instructions. Um, and you can get it two ways. Uh, you can download the PDF directly from the store on my website, or you can go to Amazon Kindle and download it there. So I hope you guys will go and pick up a copy and support continued work on the deglutinizer.